Okay, cool. So what we'll do on this call, and we'll probably knock this all out within the next, it's 11.15, we'll knock it out in the next 45 minutes. So okay. we're going to knock, we're going to do, we're going to do a lot. We're going to do a lot. And it's all super, super important for the Facebook ad site. But the Karcher site is required for what we're about to do. So we're going to take the domain, we're going to connect it to all four pages. So every page will have that domain. And then what we're going to do is we're going to also add the pixel, the Facebook pixel to all four pages. So Facebook can, you know, obviously start tracking everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up custom audiences. So each page is a different type of visitor. Someone that lands on the opt-in, but never opted in is a different visitor than someone who actually opts in, right? So now we have to take each link, which is now going to be your custom domain. We got to take each link and set up a custom audience. So right now in the ads manager, we have we have two audiences, which, which are just based on, yeah, go ahead and click on it. We have two audiences, which are just based on the videos. So, so you're going to have two types of audiences. One audience will be videos, 25%. People who watched at least 25% of a video, any video, all videos, every video you put out from this point on will be a custom audience. Whether you run an ad on it or not, it's still, when, when the moment you put, put a video on that page, there needs to be a custom audience that is set up right away. And that's going to be based on 25%. People who watch at least 25% of that video. And it doesn't matter how long the video is. Custom audiences around video, that's one type of audience. And then the second type of audience, which we're going to do today, are people that land on these pages. That's, that's what we'll do. So the pixel we're going to knock out today, the custom audiences around these four pages is what we're going to knock out today. And then setting up a custom conversion. A custom conversion is based on the thank you page. So as you start to run Facebook ads and someone clicks, watch, for example, open up another tab and go to Facebook. Let's go to the newsfeed. Yeah, just plus. And then let's go to the newsfeed and let's just look at a random ad. So let's scroll down and let's see whether it's a video, whether it's an image, it does not matter. We're going to just simply click on it and see where it takes us. So this right here, that's actually GoDaddy. So keep going. Let's go to a different one. Let's Daddy. go to one with, with just, an, uh, just a normal, just an average individual, or not average, but just an individual, not a company. Like we don't want to click up. That's a, a company. Like let's go to an, an actual, let's see if there's any like single person like that we can actually, yeah, Kajabi, it's a full-blown company. Keep going, keep going. See if you can just see a sponsored ad coming from like a real estate coach or maybe like a real estate trainer. Curbio, you're, yeah, you're getting all these big brands that are advertising to you. Let's see if Wix, yeah, keep going. Let's see. Um, we're looking for... Let's see, go back up. What was that? Yeah, that's another brand, huh? Another, this one right, a little higher. This one right here. Yeah, yeah. Threads of Fate. Yeah, that's a little, yeah, that's a brand. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going until we find like a name, like of, of a person. Um, yeah, another brand. No, it's just a suggested. <gasps> um, well, here's the deal. It's really little um try cl click on that ad let's see let's see where they take us so a custom conversion actually not on the link click on or not on the not, not on the page not on the, the little ho hotel ho however how you pronounce it scroll oh, down yeah. is there a button yeah see there's that call to act click on learn more okay so here's the deal okay. when it comes to when it comes to and this is horrible advertise horrible horrible they're taking us to a full-blown web page but here's the deal. Here's one strategy. When it comes to capturing leads, you take them to a landing page. That's why Karcher is so important. It's a freaking landing page. When you get there, there's only one button to click on. But when you start looking at these big brands, these, these people, they burn money. These big brands, they have a marketing budget. They freaking burn money. And many of them still don't even know how to run ads on Facebook. That's, that's a fact. And so yeah. in this case, what they're doing is they're, they're running an ad to a, pretty much a full-blown website. And what I call a full-blown website is when there's more than one button to click on. I see features at the top. I see resources. I see pricing. Try for free. Log in. It's a full-blown website. And so this is horrible for lead capture. It's horrible to get someone to purchase something because there's way too many buttons to click on and an individual will click on everything and then leave and that per and, and you as the advertiser spent all that money and you didn't get shit out of it. 
But these big brands, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt as far as them. Okay, let's just say they know what they're doing. One strategy and the only strategy of this to run someone to a full-blown website is to capture the audience, is to capture the audience. Because right here, click away from that, click away from where you're at. Look at the pixel helper. So they're pix. No, go back, go back. They're pixeling you, right? So one strategy, yeah. in fact, the only, click on it, the only strategy, the only strategy that, that we'd be running on in this case is to capture the audience. So they got you to click on the ad. You came here, they tracked the visit. So the pixel is on the page. And what they also did is they took the link at the top little hotelier.com forward slash update dash system. That's the link. So what they're doing is they're creating an audience around this page and calling this web page visitors. So now they have you in an audience. So if they're smart, which again, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, what they're going to do is they're going to run another ad to you in the future because you've got this far, but never tried it for free. And they know you never tried it for free because you never landed on the thank you for purchasing page, right? right? It's all about audiences. It's all about audiences. So here's the deal. Once they send you here, try for free, go ahead and click on try for free, click on that black button. Okay. So now, now look at the link at the top, click on it. The link at the top now turns to signup.littlehotelier.com forward slash try dash four, four dash free step one. So now look at the Facebook pixel. They're still pixeling you. So this is a custom audience, this right here. So now what they're able to do is put Rebecca in a custom audience of quote unquote clicked on step one. So now anyone who lands here but never fills out the form, they're going to show you a different type of ad. And so right. even as you go in and put in your first name, last name, email, and you go on to step two of three, there's going to be a percentage of people that leave because at that point, they're going to be asking for your credit card. Even though it's a free trial, your credit card still has to go into their system. I know how free trials work. The credit card right. still goes in, right? So let's say you go to step yeah. two of three, but you never complete it. That's a custom audience. They know you got that far. They're going to run another ad and show you something different to get you to, 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 to um, complete it. Those are custom audiences. Now, the very, very last page, the very, very step three of three, you fill out that form, you end up smashing the button, you put in your credit card and you land on the thank you for registering. Thank you for setting up your free trial. That's the confirmation page. That is another custom audience, but that's also the custom conversion because a custom conversion is the end page. What is the end page that you're trying to get people to? Custom right. conversion. And in your case, it's, it's, it's not as complex as this full-blown full step three of three website. Yours no. is very simple. It's opt-in page, thank you page. That's it. So the thank you page is our custom conversion. That's the page, the destination page. The thank you page is the page that you're ultimately trying to get people to get to. That's the custom conversion. So as we run ads, we run ads telling Facebook, hey, yeah, if they click on learn more, they go to the landing page. Yes, yeah, so here's the link to that. But what we're really trying to do is get people to the thank you page. That's our custom conversion. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to install the pixel. We're going to set up custom audiences around the pages, and we're going to set up our custom conversion around the thank you page, because that becomes the most important page that Facebook needs to know about. Okay. So those three things, don't worry about remembering any of that shit. I just said, that's a ton of information. I recorded it all as recording for you. So play it back later. So let's start with, um, let's start with, with the ads manager. So let's go to the pixel. So click on, um, the bookmarks, it's going to be bookmarks is going to, we'll come back to the custom audiences, the bookmarks that we're going to need those today. So we're going to go to pixel and we may have to re bookmark it um, because yeah, because it's not set up yet. So perfect. So actually, no, it is. It actually, it's not. So go ahead and click on, let's do this real quick. Go to um, go to the three lines in the top left and go to business settings. Let's just make sure this is connected real quick. Go to business settings. And then um, we're going to go down to pixels to the left. Actually, we're, yeah, we're going to, we're going to go to data sources to the left. Yeah. So all that is there. Perfect. So data sources, pixels. Okay, cool. And then now go to add people. So it's that 
you have two of them, but go ahead and click on um, to the left, RS. Yeah, click on that one and then click on manage pixel full control. Shade that to blue. Yeah, that gray, shade that and then assign. Okay, cool. So you have you have two pixels here, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using we're going to be using this one, I believe. Um, click on your drop down in the top left, that drop down. Okay, so you have, yeah, so it's RS. Okay, so remember that profile. Remember, that's the account we're running everything out of. RS, yep. yeah, perfect. And then, okay, cool. So that's, that's the pixel we'll be using as well. Okay, cool. So now click on, and then click on, scroll up to the left. Click on, um, yeah, go up a little higher. Yeah, click on, click on add accounts. Let's make sure this is connected. Okay, so there is your name. That is the RS Van Tassel's homes. So remember that everything is around the word homes. The, yep. the business account, which is that right there where you're at, that's the business account. That's the business account name, RS Van Tassel homes. It's also the name of the ad account. So why don't we do this? Yeah, it's bookmarked. It's already bookmarked. Yeah, we did all the bookmarking earlier. So that's perfect. So that's also the name of the ad account, RS Van Tassel Homes. It's also the name of the pixel. Okay. So um, everything is around that word homes. Um, perfect. So we're good. So click on the three lines in the top left or the top. Yeah, three lines. And let's go back to events manager and let's start with the pixel. So, um, and again, we may have to re, yeah, we will re bookmark it um, as, as soon as we set it up. Okay, cool. So now click on continue pixel setup the blue one, and then we're going to go Facebook pixel, connect, and then we're going to go install code manually, and then we're going to copy code, and that's it. Okay, so now you copied a bunch of freaking letters, and now we're going to go paste it into every page on Kartra. So now go to Kartra, and we're going to simply start with, start with anyone. Yeah, you can just click on edit. So we'll go, we'll go, yeah, left to right. And then what we can do is we simply click on the green one. We're going to just go into the builder, and this is where you add the pixel. And in every web page builder, whether it's this one, whether it's freaking any other website, Wix, whatever, start tutorial, you're going to just go next, 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 next. You'll click next a few times. When it comes to every website, it could be for your for your your former salon, whatever, any freaking website, they're pretty much all the same where they have a back end. You have the front end, which is the actual full-blown website that someone sees online. And then you have the back end, which is where all the settings is. This is the back end. So this is where all the settings is. And most of them are all the same. You'll come into the settings, click on settings to the left, and then you'll click on tracking code. And then you'll simply scroll to the very, very bottom right there and you'll paste it in. That's it. Now your pixels on the page, apply. That's it. That's as easy as it is. And most websites, again, are the same where you just paste in the code. That's it. So you click on apply and we're good. So now actions in the top left, save progress, actions in the, I mean, so I'm so sorry, top right, top right, the green button, actions, save progress. There's three clicks, three clicks on exiting a page. That's one. You're going to save progress, go ahead and exit out. And then you're going to hit the actions again and you're gonna publish live. This is our second click on our way out of the page. Now, right here, you're gonna get the page link. This is where we change out the link. This is one place. Actually, you already did that part, so we're good. All the pages are good. Okay, perfect, so all we gotta, all we gotta do is add this pixel. Okay, good. I think, that we, I think we did that on our last call where we connected the domain to all the pages. Okay, yeah, so probably. actions, we already published live. That's the second click. Actions, the green one. Now we're going to return to dashboard. That's the third click. So it's save progress, publish live, make sure the domain is, is, is connected, and then return to dashboard. Exit. Yeah, okay, cool. So now let's just do the thank you page. We're going to edit, and then we'll click on the green button over here, and then we'll just paste in this code again. And then, yeah. Actually, yeah, next time just click on don't show again. Don't show again. No. Yeah. Wow. It just it really does. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. Settings? Settings. And then um We'll go tracking code and then at the very, very bottom. 
Perfect. Okay, so now apply and then actions, save progress, publish live, and then make sure that link is, is there. Your Make sure your custom domain is there. Publish live. And we're going to check it right here. Get the page link. So, yeah, perfect. That Okay, here's what, here's what I need you to do. Wait, 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 wait. Copy that link. Open it up in a new tab because we're going to need we're going to need that for our custom audience and our custom conversion. So, yeah, just copy that. Open it up in a, in a whole new tab and just let it sit there. We'll come back to it. Okay, cool. So that's the that's the thank you page. That's the thank you page. So now close this out. And then our third click actions return to dashboard. And then just hit the red red button. Okay, cool. So now we'll do the same thing for that one. Perfect. This is the call confirmed. Um, perfect. Awesome. Actually, I'm so sorry. That's that's yeah, we copied the link. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. We, we still have the events manager open at the top. So yeah, click on that and the, the green one. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so paste that one in. Okay, cool. And that is already customized. Perfect. So grab the link. Yeah, grab the link and then just open it up in a new tab. Uh, open it up. And then what you can do is you can, yeah, paste it there, open it up. What you can do is just go back to Kartra. You can go back to Kartra and just copy it from here. Close, hit close. You can copy it from there or you can copy it from the events manager, whatever. It's the same thing. But just, yeah, just make sure you get it all. Yeah, copy and then just actions, return a dashboard. Perfect. That's it. Cool. So we have... The thank you page up there. We have the call confirm page up there, and then we'll do the do the opt in. Um, we don't need the the sequence one page up there. We just need these these three. We'll build the audiences around these ones. Okay, cool. So this is the opt in page, or this is the landing page. Yeah, the opt in page. Paste. Perfect. Apply. Awesome. Okay, cool. And then. What we'll, what we'll need to do also, or what, what you'll have to do, you know, obviously is, is simply edit the pages. You know, we can, we can, this is the most important, the pixel, the custom audiences and the custom conversion. It takes us just a few minutes to edit pages. So either, either I can, yeah, I, we can do that on a whole nother call, but it really comes down to, yeah, hit close right here real, real quick before you get out, before you get out, hold on, click on cancel. So if you hover over, because your your seller guide, it's it's not 10 tips unless it is. Yeah, it's it's probably not. Like I've yeah. got to edit this. So I would yeah, want so it's not that, it's right below. So click a little lower right there. So anything regarding the text, you want to click around until you see the T. So if you oh. click on that T at the top, click on the T, that's what allows you to come in and change out the text. Okay. Okay. So you can always, you know, rename that. You can even change the image in the background. You can change that yellow color on the button. Everything is so, so simple just to hover over it, hit the pencil. If it's not, if it's text, you're going to hit the T. If it's a button, hover over the button. If you hover over anything else, that no, 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 the button below, the yellow button, it's a pencil. So if you're hovering over anything, it's the pencil. If you're hovering over text, it's the T. Okay. okay? That's how you can come in there and, and edit it. So the pencil is to edit. The T is to edit the text. So, um, yeah, you'll want to rename that headline, you know, and, and I'll just, I would just go off of whatever the seller guide is, whatever the headline. And, and, and I have, I have a bunch of catchy headlines that I'll, that I'll email you as well. So, okay. um, We'll update this part. We'll edit this part together. We'll do that on, on our next call. We'll come in here because what we're doing now is getting all the heavy lifting out the way. The pixel, the custom audiences around the link and the custom conversion. That's all the heavy lifting. That's all the tech side of the actual Facebook ad side. But but on our next call, we'll spend time and we'll do some basic editing. Maybe we'll change out the image. You know, Maybe we'll change the yellow color of the button. We'll change the text. It's not click here to download my 10 tips. It'll be something else, right? So we'll spend some time on, on yeah. basic editing for sure on our next one. So what kind of picture should 
I put back, back there? Just any old house that I find online? Yeah, like that. That's where I found that one. Like, but obviously you want to make sure that it's super crispy clean. Like that's a clear ass image, right? Like that. Like I, I just watched it. Here's how I find it. I just go to Google, like open up a new tab, go to Google and just type in luxury homes in Washington. Like that's what I would go off of. Like, cause you want that, that background to be a, a nice ass house. Like, so, so I would do luxury homes and I'll click on images at the top images. And then now you just got all these beautiful homes. Yeah. So that's that. what I use. I just use one of these, you know? So um, yeah, whatever this all preference, you know, whatever, whatever you like, you know, that could be, but, but the image it for, for the pages, for example, you want it to be like, click on that one with that big ass pull, click on that one real quick, scroll down. Um, actually, I think you. Oh, I changed pages. Yeah. You changed pages. Go back real quick. So when it comes to like a, yeah, scroll down or click on, yeah, click on that one with that big pull. See how that one's, did you click on it or did you, you did click on it, right? Yeah. Well, I clicked you, on this one. I don't know. It had, had it, a pull. I don't know if this Go is back similar. real quick. Maybe, maybe, yeah, my, maybe Microsoft Edge is just a little different. All I do is just click one time and then it's on the right side, but I don't right click or anything. I just click on it. Try, yeah. Click. Yeah. Click on it. Just click on it. Okay, so your yeah, your browser just brings it up right here. That's fine. But see how you see how it's it's more of a of a of a of a horizontal. And first of all, that's not even a clear picture, but no, it's 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 a hor it's it's like horizontal versus click on the one, click on yeah, it's not square. Yes, yeah, you want it to be square. You want it to be you want it to be more square, more squarish than vertical or horizontal. Um, because you want it to so fit more like a one-to-one. -one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. More of like, yeah. Yeah. That might be a little too, maybe, maybe that one to the, to watch, click on, click on the one to the right, right here, right here. Don't scroll to the very, very right. You see that like down, down to the left. Oh, you scrolled. Click on, click on, click on that one to the left, the one to the left, that one with the, yeah. Click on that one. Yeah. See, that's still, that's still that, that, I mean, that, that probably would work. So you just want to kind of play with it. Just find one. And then, and then what I do is I I'll right click it. Watch it go down right there. Uh, you I was just trying to find something that was. A working with, with that in the search engine might help. So try, um, yeah, try clicking on any of these. Washington DC gross. So that yeah, this that, is this is still kind of rectangular. Click on the one to the right, right, and down, 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 that one. Click on that one. Yeah, that's super small. So yeah, that's that's super small. So I would just I would just yeah, go back and then just, just click on a different one. But at the same time, look at that one. That one, the picture is not even clear, right? So you yeah. want it to be super, super clear. It has to be just perfect as far as the clarity for a page. You know what I mean? So, but all the images, any image that you ever see on any of these pages that I'm giving you is it's all from here. Like I find them on Google, I'll right click, save image as, and I'll save it to my downloads and then I'll just okay. bring it over here to Kartra. Watch, in fact, I want you to actually get one. So find one and let's just put one there for the hell of it, just so you know how to do it. So. Is this one kind of, oh, that one's not really clear. And then, so now, now the image in the background, it's to the right, that red gear. Yeah. And then click on edit. Remember the pencil, it's always about the pencil on everything. The pencil is what opens up the editing. And then background and then image selected, click on that blue one. And then all you're gonna do is click on upload, upload image. And then there is the image. So click on that and then you gotta click it again. So you're gonna select it. So as this, perfect, confirm and then click the green one, apply. Oh, sick. Bam. Bam. That I, looks that looks pretty this, damn, pretty yeah. damn good. Yes. Like I, I actually really, really like that. And here's how you would do the image. 
on the button. So watch, hover over the button. And remember, so everything is about the pencil, right? It's all about that pencil. That's the editing. But then as you open up the left-hand side of the page, you always want to click apply, which, which you did, but always make sure you click apply. Because if you put that, in, not that one, I'm talking about the apply button that was to the left. Oh. So, so as you watch, watch, hover over the, the button. Yeah. So you'll always, whenever you do a change, which, which you already did, but just always make sure you apply. That's what saves it. So now hover over the button, the yellow button, hit the pencil. Let's change out this image on the form. So as someone comes here and they smash that yellow button, there's going to be a form that pops up, which asks for their name and email. What I put is an image in that form as well. So if you click on link, click on link, that image, there's that image in the background. So to change that image to the very, very right, the red gear, head, hit that one, hit pencil. And then this is the image in the background. So click that image and then image selected and go ahead and just select that same image and then apply. And what you can do, cause you see that tint or that shaded type of foggy look, that's the opacity, the image opacity to the left. So 30% okay. play around, play around with that. Maybe go to 50, 60, just play around with it. See, see what you like, click apply. And so now it just brings it out. Okay. More. So so it's all preference. Like yeah, like it lightened it up. Go to 90%. Just see what it looks like for the hell of it. Right. So just it just brings it out. So it's all it's all up to you, like however you want it to look, you know. Um okay. so and then and then and then, yeah, so we'll do all the basic editing on our next call. We'll we'll spend time on that. So click on done to yeah, always apply, always apply, and then click on done to the right because it's we're in this form. And then now we can save progress, publish live, and then um, return to dashboard. So this link right here, make sure you copy this link. So as you publish live, yeah, get that link. And then let's open it up in a new tab. Perfect. So we have the, the opt-in page, which is this one, download now. We have the thank you page tab open, and then we have the call confirm page open. So that's what we're going to work off of. We're going to take the links at the top and set up custom audiences. So now the pixel, and you can test the pixel by looking at your pixel helper. So look at your pixel helper. Click on the blue pixel helper right in the top right. And so I have the pixel helper up there installed on my, you know, as a plugin to test my pages. I don't care who's, who's tracking me. Like as, right. as you're on random websites now, you're going to notice that thing light up. Everyone oh, yeah. has their pixel. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> but but I don't give a shit about them. Like all I have that for is to test my pages. That's all I care about. Yeah. My, right. So now now if you refresh the page, refresh the page. And so if you if you click the yellow button, now you'll see that form pop up. And that's what you just edited is that form. Nice. Right. So so that's why in your business, it's super, super basic landing page. Thank you, page. That's it. So this same process applies for a listing, for an open house, for a buyer guide, a seller guide. It's the same thing, same basic two pages. So these are the only two pages you need ever really to be running ads online. That's it. That's it. Two pages. So we got these three pages up now. So now the pixel's up. Let's make sure we test all of them. So look at all the pages that we have up um, and let's make sure we check the pixel on all of them. Perfect. So that's that. And then we'll change out the images later, right? We'll get back to the editing yeah. for sure um, later. But you know how to do it. So if you want, you can always go back in there and, and change them on, on the other pages. Yeah, so, yeah. So now what we'll do, actually, you have to close out the other, your free seller guide one. That one, yeah, close out that one. Okay, cool. So we have these three pages. Okay, cool. So the pixels on there, we're good. Now let's go and set up our audiences around these three pages. So we're going to go to events manager. And then what we're going to do also is let's make sure we have the correct um, bookmark. Click the three lines again and go to events manager. I want to make sure that this is the correct bookmark that you have already. Um, and so go ahead and refresh this page. This is where we need to put, this is where, what we need to save as our, as our bookmark. And minimize this, this, this top part right here. Review which limited conversion events can be used. Click on that drop down to the very, very right. Down, little down next to the three dots, that arrow, that point. Yeah, click on that. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. So now go to your bookmark folder 
and I'm going to have you rebookmark this. So let's right click pixel and delete it. Right click the pixel bookmark, delete this one. Yeah, delete. Where, oh, down, 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 see. delete. Oh, yeah, delete okay. it. Okay, so now we're going to rebookmark it. So go to bookmark it, and this is pixel, pixel, pixel. That's exactly what it is, pixel. Okay, cool. So we're good. So in the future, in the future, if you ever need to grab your Facebook pixel, you can always simply go into Kartra. Watch, go to Kartra, the, the tab, the Kartra tab, not the pages. You're, yeah, right here. So close this. You can always, always come into a page, click on settings, go to tracking code and copy your pixel there. Or you can come over here to the events manager, go to the events manager tab. Or you would come right here to get your pixel and it's add events. So go ahead and, and click on add events down there, the drop down towards the middle of the page, down, 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 add events. From a new website, install code manually, copy code. That's it. That's it. That's your Facebook pixel. That's it. So now I could take that and paste it on any website I want. Okay. Right. So that, that's your pixel. Okay. So we're good there. Pixel done. Now let's set up our custom audiences. So click on the three lines and we're going to go to audiences. Okay, cool. So now we're going to set up audiences around these three pages. So we're going to click on the um, blue button, create audiences, create audience, and then go to custom audience. Okay, cool. Website. So here, here, right here, this, this is where you can set up. This is where every custom audience is, is set up as far as sources, as far as what options we have. All you'll ever really want to set audiences around is website and video. That's it. Not customer list, Instagram account. You would think, okay, yeah, let me set up a, a custom audience around my Instagram account. Whoever inter interacts or whoever engages on anything on IG, put them in an audience and let me show them another ad. And then you would probably, or just speaking in general, we would think, yeah, Facebook page. I have thousands of people that follow me on my page. Let me set up an audience around them and I'll start targeting them with my Facebook ads. That is a, the worst thing because even with even though we even even though we never ran a, a like ad on the Instagram account, you're as you build your business up, you're still gonna have thousands of followers that follow you from all over the place. They're not even in Washington. Yeah. Right. And same with the Facebook page. It's like we got that. We got a couple thousand people that like the page, but none of them are in Washington or very, very a very small very percentage cute. are. Yeah. Right. So it's like I don't want an audience around those people. No, I don't need to show them an ad. They're not even in the area. Right. right. So so it's never that. any of these other ones. It's always going to be just website people who actually landed on my website and in and, 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 and video. Those are your two audience sources that you'll always really, really want to use for real estate. So let's go website. Click on next. So this right here is, is, is where the magic is. This is based on our website. So that's the pixel we're using, homes pixel. That's the one we're using. And then on the events, you're going to click on that, all website visitors, and we're going to go down to specific. We're going to get specific with this. So click on the drop down, all website visitors, and go specific. People who visit specific pages. And we'll go 30 days. Facebook will track, they could track up to 180 days. Anyone who has landed on that page within the past 180 days, we can set up this audience. Wait, not you're getting everything except for the WWW. So so do that again. Do that again. Yeah. Not yeah, exactly. Just that part. So so let's wait, 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 wait. Let's you're going way too fast. Let's go back. That was the call confirm page. So, so we're not, we're not on that. We're going to do the, the, let's do the opt-in page first, do the opt-in page first. So copy this. Yeah. Not this one. This is the thank you page. So the one to the right, let's do the opt-in page, the landing page, this one first. Okay. So just copy that part. Yeah. Not the, Yeah. Perfect. Just make sure there's no spaces, no dot. Okay, cool. Okay. So what I was trying to say is that Facebook, the 30, right where you see 30 days, that can go up to 180, but I don't do 180. I don't do 100. I don't do 90. I do about 30. Facebook will start putting everybody who landed on this page within the past 30 days in this audience. And that's kind of, that's even stretching it because if I'd landed on your webpage 27 days ago, 
and I only landed there once. I saw one ad. I landed on your page. That was 27 days ago. And you're now putting me in a custom audience to show me another ad. I may not remember you. Yeah. Because that was 27 days ago. I don't remember shit I clicked on last week. Right. right. So, so 30 days is, is, is pushing it, but at the same time, it's kind of what we want to do. Like 30 days is max, you know? So if you land on the page within that past 30 days, you're going to be in this audience. Now, here's how we really, really narrow it in and be way more and be way more specific. We're telling Facebook, okay, this is going to be an audience. Go ahead and name it. Audience name is going to be, is going to be seller guide page visitors, seller guide page, seller guide opt-in page or seller guide landing page, whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use opt-in. Yeah. Seller guide opt-in page. And then in parentheses, you're going to put only. It's actually seller guide, seller guide opt-in page visitors, seller guide opt-in page visitors, and then in parentheses only. And how is how do we know only? How do we know they only landed here and not opted in and landed on the thank you page or landed on the call confirm page? How do we know that? Because we're going to tell it to Facebook. We're going to exclude people. So click on exclude people right to the top, exclude people. We're going to scroll down all website visitors, click on specific. You're going to always go specific. We'll leave it at 30. And now right there, we're going to paste in the other two links. We're going to paste in the call confirm link and we're going to paste in the thank you page link. So make sure you're not getting that dot. Okay. So just, just that. Okay. Call confirm. So paste that in, click on the blue, always go with that blue drop down. always click. No, no, no. The blue right there. Yeah. Click on that. And then now grab the other link. The thank you one. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're telling Facebook, these are people who only landed on the page. They've never landed on these two links, right? So, so create audience. This becomes an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Click on done. And that's web page visitors. So if you've seen my ads in the, in the past 30 days, you've clicked, you landed on my page, but never opted in, you're going to see another ad. That's retargeting. So <laughs> that's why, like, when it comes to you being a female, you're online looking at bags, handbags. You're online looking at hair products. You're online looking at freaking anti-aging facial products. I know women. I got a wife. You're online looking at freaking shoes. You click on them red, red freaking stilettos. You click on the red ones. You go to check out, but you, you don't check out. You're like, holy shit, I can't. I don't want to buy these freaking expensive ass shoes. So you end up leaving. They know you clicked on the red bag or the red shoes. So that's how, because they're tracking the link, Right. So that's how they are able to show you another ad because you've landed there, but you never checked out because you never landed on the thank you page. That's retargeting. So whenever you, you're, you're you know, shopping online and you leave and you see another ad from them in the future, it's, it's because of this. That's it. It's this, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> so, so now you become ninja, man. You Now you're like a freaking ninja. Now they're going to be like, holy shit, I just saw her ad. How in the hell does she know I freaking landed there? This is how. Or, or even videos. I watched her last video. How, how am I seeing another ad? Because you watched the video, right? So this is where, what it's, what I truly believe 99% of Facebook, not even just Facebook, it's Instagram advertising, YouTube advertising, Facebook advertising, TikTok advertising, LinkedIn advertising, whatever. It's all the same shit. 99% of it is about your custom audiences, showing your ads to the most relevant people who have engaged before. Or not showing your ads to people who have engaged before, which leads us to our next custom audience. So click on the blue one, create audience. We're going to go set up our second audience, which is going to be around the thank you page, custom audience. This one's going to be around website. This is going to be around the thank you page. So grab the link for the thank you page. And in fact, I think you might have it copied, but let's just do it again. Um, it's, it's schedule your call now one. the schedule. Your, yeah. So click on this one. So now this is going to be an audience, all website, go to specific. And in this case, we're going to take the 30 to 180. We're going to max it out at 180 because in the past 180 days, no, actually just take away 30, put 180. Okay. So we're going to tell Facebook, anyone who has landed on this link, paste in the link and there's no one to exclude. So we'll hit the blue, scroll down. Anyone who has landed on this page within the past 180 days are leads. So this is going to be seller guide leads, simple seller guide leads. If you've landed on this page, you've opted in. 
you're a lead. So now this audience becomes the audience of our leads and this done, and this becomes an audience that we always exclude. These are people that have already opted in. They don't need to keep seeing your ad. Right. Right. Hit that arrow that dropped down the top, right? Not the, not the RS that, yeah. Yeah. Minimize that one. Click on that. Okay, cool. Now we can see everything. So, so that audience right there, seller guide leads again, back to the freaking red stilettos. If you clicked on the red ones and you actually checked out and you landed on the thank you for purchasing, your order is being processed and will be shipped within three business days. That's the confirmation page. That's the page you would be on. That's the, that's the audience you would be on. So now that, that company would now, they know you purchased, right? You landed on the confirmation page. That's the audience. Now they would exclude you from seeing future ads. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or they can take that audience of people who purchased the red stilettos, they can take that audience and show you the next ad of the red handbag because they know you purchased the red shoes. Right. This is where we get ninja, right? Huh. So, okay. so that becomes an audience that you can always, that you can always exclude from seeing these seller guide ads, or you can even target them in, a f- in the future with a very specific ad, talking to oh, only yeah. people who have opted in. Hey guys, this is Rebecca. I know you opted in and downloaded my seller guide last month. Just wanted to follow up and, and, and say hello and kind of give you some more information on what's going on in, in the market today. Like okay. that's a very yeah. specific message to a very specific audience, right? So Definitely. this is how it's all broken down. So now let's do the call confirmed. So now, and the reason why, yeah, create audience and we'll do website. The reason why the call confirmed is so important is because it's very, very similar to the leads. Like if you've scheduled an appointment with me before, I don't need to keep showing you ads. Yeah. You know, you're already a lead. You're already in my system. You've, you're, you've scheduled an appointment, right? So now what I would do is I would start excluding and turn the 30 to 180. I would start excluding this audience and the audience name. There's no exclude. There's no exclude. Not, you're not excluding it here. You're excluding it when you set up the ad. So there's no, there's no other link to exclude here. That's what this is for, is excluding the link. So there's no, no, no link to exclude. This is what it is. These are people who have scheduled an appointment. Audience name, uh, scheduled appointments, scheduled appointments. And it's not just seller guide, it's whoever. I would start using the Karcher calendar for everything. Anyone who's ever scheduled an appointment with me is in this audience. So those are your three, three main audiences. And so in the future, as we start to run ads, we'll always want to retarget the 25% of people or, or not 25% of people. We'll always want to, to retarget people who have watched 25% of, of every video. And then we'll always want to retarget people who have landed on the page, but never opted in. And then, and then, and then from ad number two and on, or ad number one and on, or whatever, whenever we start running conversion ads for leads, we'll always want to exclude the lead audience and even the scheduled appointments once you start getting appointments. So these audiences just become, just become audiences that you'll either target or not target. Bottom line, that's okay. what it is. And, and the same, again, the same thing applies for whatever the funnel, whatever the campaign, it could be a listing, an open house. It doesn't matter. It's the same freaking three audiences, or it's really the same two audiences because the, 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 the scheduled appointments that's general for everything. But if I'm working a, a, a listing funnel, an open house funnel, a seller guide funnel, it's really just a, about these two pages, the landing page, the opt-in page and the thank you page. That's it. So as long as I'm creating audiences around those two, that would be listing opt-in page, listing, listing, 187 Third Avenue listing leads, right? Because those are people who opted in for that specific listing. They landed on the thank you page. That is that specific audience. Yeah. Right. So it's the same thing. It, it's the same two pages is what you'll always really want to create audiences around. Okay. So. Okay. That's the custom audiences. Now, our last one, and then we'll be done, um, is our custom conversion. So we'll click on the three lines at the top, and we're going to go to um, we're going to go to events manager, and then we're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left. We're going to hover over that blue triangle, and we're going to go custom conversions. And this is all about the thank you page. And we'll, we'll want to rebookmark this, this one as well. So conversion name, seller guide leads. 
exactly what we named the audience, seller guide leads. Now, again, the custom conversion, that's just taking it up a little further. And as we go and run ads, every ad from this point on, as we're running local ads to capture leads, we're telling Facebook that this is the most important page. When they click on learn more, they're going to the opt-in page. But when they opt in, they actually land. No, 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 no. When they opt in, they actually land on the thank you page. The thank you page becomes the most important page out of all of it. It's the thank you page. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm trying to get people here. Yes, they click on learn more. They come here. Yes, that this is obvious. I'm obviously trying to get people here, but I'm ultimately trying to get them to get them to the thank you page because if people can get to the thank you page, that means they opted in. Facebook needs to know your thank you page. That becomes the most important page out of these two, the thank you page. Okay, yeah. so that's the custom conversion. So click on that. And then um, that becomes, so we're good there. The pixel, the green dot, all URL traffic, we're good there. Paste in the link there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select your own category. Hit the blue up, select your own category. Recommended, hit the drop down and go down to lead. Anyone who, um, who, who lands on this link is a lead. And yes, that's a custom audience, but this is, again, you don't need that. This becomes our custom conversion. So click create. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to web configurations, click on that one. And then over here, we're going to simply click on the domain verified. Mm -hmm. Click on the, yeah, click on that one. And then manage events, edit. And then we're going to simply click on the green one, add, add event. And then these two drop downs, click on the one on the left, and then just click on custom conversion. And then choose event, seller guide leads, apply. And then you're going to yes, confirm, apply, and that's it. So now the last part, and then we'll click on OK. So the last part we need is to, is to activate it, which we're going to click on the triangle to the left again and go to custom conversions. So over here, you'll see it inactive. Now what we'll want to do is go to the actual page. So right here, the tab at the top, go to your schedule, your call now page, your thank you page. Now refresh this page. This is the custom conversion page. So if you refresh this page, now if you check that pixel, it may take a, it may take a minute or two. We should, we should see, you'll see page view. You'll see microdata automatically detected. And then you'll see your seller guide leads custom conversion. That's what you named it. You named it seller guide leads. So yeah, it might take a couple minutes, but see if, if, it, if we can refresh the um Facebook one. So go back to events manager, the inactive, refresh this one. Actually, yeah, refresh this one. That inactive should go active. Okay, cool. So now, and again, it might take a couple more minutes, but refresh this one. Let's see if it's if it's showing over here yet. Yeah, it'll show up in a in a minute or two. But down, yeah, down below you'll see seller guide leads. And that's how you know your oh. custom conversion is is installed. Nice. But because it's already showing active, we're good. So, so we're good. So now look, here's where this custom conversion is, 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 is required and where it's necessary. So now as we go and set up an ad, so click the three lines to the left, go to ads manager. So now as we go in and actually set one up, click on the, the green one. And then we'll just come over here, go conversions. So now as we go leads, it's all conversions, click on continue. And then so now special ad category, hit the drop down, go to housing, and then hit next, the blue one. So look, now as we go into the second step, to the very left, top left, those are the three tabs, campaign, ad set, ad. That's what we see on the dashboard. Those are our three tabs. This is the second tab, the ad set. In the ad set tab, this is where we choose the conversion event. So we're telling Facebook about it right now. When we get to the third step, which is the ad, to the left, top left, you see new conversions ad. That's the third step. Don't click on it. That's the oh. third one down, down, third one. Don't click on it. But when we get there, that's where we have the learn more button. When they click on learn more, they go to the opt-in page. But right here on the second one, click on the second one. Right here is where we tell them about the thank you page. And that's the conversion event. 
So click inside that choose an event down, down conversion event. Click inside that box or that, that rectangle, whatever the hell you call it. Click on that, and there goes your conversion event, seller guide leads. So we're good. Now, as we go and choose our targeting, choose our budget, all that stuff, we're telling Facebook right here that that is the most important link. That is our conversion event. We're trying to get people to land there on the thank you page. Okay. So that's that. And that's where you do the lifetime budget. Right? Yeah. All, all that. Yeah. We'll walk through all that later, but later, X yeah. out of this part, top left X, and then let's just delete this campaign. So close. And then let's just make sure we trash this one. So just click on the campaigns tab at the top. No, 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 no. The campaigns tab. Yeah, click it there and then just delete it from here. So click on the trash can to the right, up middle, right, right in the middle. Yeah, click on that and now just get rid of this one. So delete. Okay, perfect. So that's good. Okay, and then and then that one shade to blue. Yeah, shade to gray. And then do on the middle tab, on the middle tab, shade this to gray. Yeah, you always want to shade all three levels. And then the one to the right, shade this to gray. Actually, it's already great. And that's it. So that's how you install a pixel. That's how you set up custom audiences. And that's how you set up a custom conversion um, around the thank you page. So any questions on any of that? Because I know that was a ton of information. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Awesome.